Hi, I'm Dr. Nan Boss at Best Friends Veterinary Center. I'm going to be talking in this video about the risks and benefits of spaying and neutering cats. I think most of us understand the benefits of that. Cat overpopulation is a big problem in the U.S. Uh, also, unneutered male cats have the stinkiest pee ever, and they like to escape out of the house and go roaming after females and they also tend to be more aggressive. So male cats generally are much better house pets when they're neutered. Uh, female cats will go into heat multiple times every year. Their behavior is often a little bizarre. They will roll around and, and yowl and attract male cats to your yard and nobody wants that. The more heat cycles a female cat goes through, the more likely she's going to get breast cancer later in life. So we generally want to spay our female cats by six months of age. Uh, males, it's not quite as much of a hurry. Uh, usually six to eight months is the time period for neutering a male cat. Uh, the Feline Practitioners Association and the Humane Societies like to neuter and spay even younger than that. So most of the pets that get adopted from the Humane Societies around here are already spayed or neutered by the time you take them home. As far as risks, all surgeries entail some degree of risk. The risk with neutering as far as the incision or the surgery itself is pretty small. Uh, occasionally we will have a cat that has some kind of bleeding disorder and we will have issues with that. Um, they don't get any stitches in their incisions, so nothing that they can pull out. They generally don't bother their incisions a whole lot as long as uh, they get pain medication like they should. We start pain medication before we actually do the surgery, so it's already in their system by the time we, um, we are performing the procedure. And they wake up comfortable, they go home on pain medication, and usually they are pretty uneventful surgeries. Spays, is a little, those are a little more major. We've got a bigger incision all the way into the abdomen. There's more suture layers, more likelihood that the cat is going to want to lick at the incision. Although cats, by and large, are really pretty good about incisions. I actually have more problems with dogs with licking incisions. So your female cat also will be started on pain medication and continue with that after surgery. She's going to have an incision about an inch to an inch and a half long. And uh, those uh, incisions take about 10 to 14 days to heal. So during that time period, we have to be careful that the incision doesn't get infected and there's no licking at it. It doesn't get red or swollen or, or weepy or anything like that. Pain medications have come a long way in the last few years. Uh, it's pretty painless for us to have to administer pain medication now to cats. We have liquid, we have uh, quick dissolve tablets, we have topical anesthetic drugs. So whatever is easiest for you to get in your cat, we will figure out a way to get those pain medications on board. Uh, we all always have cats come in on anti-anxiety medication. Uh, we'll talk about that a little bit more in a bit when we talk about anesthetic risks. So spay surgeries stay overnight one night. So your cat would come in in the morning and go home anytime after about 9.30 the next morning. Uh, male cats, because it's a more minor surgery for them, go home the same day. And then we usually call you the next day and make sure they're eating and drinking and acting normally. Uh, the biggest challenge is keeping them a little bit quiet for the first few days, especially female cats with their bigger incision that goes all the way into the abdominal cavity. It can be really hard to, to explain to a cat why they shouldn't be running up the stairs or jumping onto the furniture until their incision is healed up. We usually have you try to confine them to a single room where there isn't as much for them to be jumping up and down on. And we can do some additional anti-anxiety or uh, mild sedative medication to keep them a little quieter if that's becoming an, a problem. Um, some kittens re recover so quickly that they're jumping all over the house a little too soon and that's what's going to end up with uh, some swelling or incision infection if they overdo it. They'll get bruised and sore. So we would like to avoid that. Uh, so that's about it for, uh, for the risks. Again, complications are pretty rare for routine procedures like spays and neuters.